This is What She Said, Canada Talks 167 on Sirius XM with Christine Bentley, Kate Wheeler, and Sharon Caddy. And we have the huge honor and privilege of being in the presence of Gloria Vanderbilt, the one and only, who is going to talk to us today about her life and her style. Now, you're here for uh, your art yes. exhibition. Tell us about, about your art and what kind of work you're doing. And I'm also here for, um, I created a, a literary uh, prize in honor of my son, Carter Cooper, which uh, Barry Callaghan of Exile, they have sponsored it, and we're going to present it on tomorrow night, Saturday night. So I'm here for that and also for my art show. So And uh, Carter, that's... Um Obviously, a story that's very close to your heart. Not many people are familiar with what happened. Do you want to tell us a little bit about why you would name this for him? Well, I, he, he died when he was 23, and so it's in honor of him. And, and um, we've had the most, really discovered the most wonderful writers, and I always felt that he was going to be a, be a writer. He was had great potential talent, so that's why I created the award in honor of, of him. We, we know that you've just turned 90. Now, you, you are a, an absolutely amazing inspiration. Do you, do you structure your day when you're working, or do you go when the mood takes you? No, I, I actually um, I get up very early, and I uh, work until 3 o'clock, and then I, th- th- that's uh, my energy starts to go then, and so I'm pretty much on schedule for that. And um, so I work like from nine until three and uh, have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch, <laughs> <laughs> which is my favorite lunch. Really? Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's so cool. I like peanut butter. Do you like crunchy or smooth? Uh, <laughs> no, this, this is, uh, it's organic and it's smooth, uh, but it, cha- it just tastes like Peanut butter is peanut butter. Peanut butter is peanut butter. <laughs> so what's your secret? What's your secret for your longevity and, and your zest for life? Well, I feel very lucky to have reached 90 uh, and actually very surprised because um, I, I have never kind of thought of, of, of age and, and except when I was in my 20s and I thought um, I, I used to keep a diary from the time I was about 15 and I, I, you know, poured all of my secrets into this diary. And then when I got to be in my 20s and 30 was approaching, I thought, you know, there's no way I'm going to live beyond 30. It seemed to me like forever. You know, forever. And I thought, you know, I, so I'm not going to live beyond 30. And this diary is going to be left with all these, this drivel in it, all these <laughs> secrets and all these things I poured out and of course so I destroyed them all of course now I regret it oh, I no. wish, yeah, I know because I've got to tell you you've had some pretty hot men in your life that's some, true that's so, true some, some of those stories must have been fantastic well um, so I really re- re- regret that I wow. uh, that I you know threw them into the fire and they went into the flames so what would you tell young 20s somethings today because everybody thinks that their generation had it tougher than the one behind them but you know young people today would look at you and say I could never ever achieve what she's achieved what were your rules tips what would your inspiration well I wanted to make something of my life and I wanted to uh, I I just was determined to, to do that and um, w- w- I think the best uh, thing that anyone could hear is what jo- Joseph Campbell said, which is, follow your bliss. And if there's something that you really want to do, go for it. Your yeah. son, uh, Anderson, has said about you that despite some really almost unimaginable um, challenges that you've had in your life, you still have retained that vulnerability that you're still able to be amazed and astounded and and take great joy in things. Did you make a conscious decision not to ever become hard or not? Well, I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not tough. It's true. And um, I have this um, this this sort of um, sense of myself. 
th that I'd like to keep clear, you know, and, and I like to, uh, um, and, and I'm always so kind of touched by, um, I don't know, by people who, who, I don't know, who are kind of, you know, just great to me, like you two guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you kidding? Thank you very much for taking the time to speak well, with us. Thank you. It has been a huge pleasure for both thank of you. us. Thank and, you. Um, and for all our listeners across North America, we're going to share this with them, this wonderful conversation we've had, the one and only Gloria Vanderbilt. Well, and you'll talk to us again next time you're in town. I would love that. Okay. okay. Thank you.